slight drizzle out, just kind of a mist. And the doctor called, the skies opened up, and just this huge swell of rain just poured down. Everything like went to, to black hole. September 26th. June 22nd. 11-20. Valentine's Day. It was Halloween. I had to get home to hand out candy. We had gone to the mall to look for a kitten. She told me, I have something to tell you. Slow motion kind of shock that you feel when the doctor sort of looks you in the eyes and kind of... I thought he was possibly questioning my, my manhood. <laughs> I got a phone call five minutes before I had to go on the air live. Hey kids, here's Britney Spears at number three. Woo! Cut. I just remember holding the phone out screaming, Mom! My daughter. My father. My wife. My mom. <laughs> it's hard to accept that what happens to you. I was eight months in the hospital. I was in bed for 10 years. So I'm really in my 30s. I said to my oncologist, am I going to have to start smoking marijuana because I never liked it in college? What did I do when I was young? Why that person? Why not that person? If I were a singer, maybe it would have hit me in the vocal cords. And I'm a singer, so to get it up there and have them cut away most of my upper jaw. I think it's a monster. The boogeyman was like, tag, you're it. My friend Manny, my brother, my mom. <laughs> Somebody comes in and asks you if you're interested in buying a wig. I said no. I was bald when I started chemotherapy. And she had lost all her hair. When you love someone so much and you want to make everything right and you can't, We're all looking towards a cure. But in this case, it didn't happen. Think of the billions and billions of dollars we spend every year as a country dreaming up more inventive ways to kill one another. I'd say our priorities are pretty screwed up. We can beat this. It'll be like a key, you know, unlocking a door. Life is a terminal condition, right? So I'm gonna die, you're gonna die, but how many of us are gonna live? It's given me a buttload of courage. Don't take things for granted. Those special moments, those, you know, Kodak moments. To me, age is a privilege now. I made 50. So I'm still here. I'm a survivor. You can survive. Absolutely. <laughs> My life changed that day. You know, it did. For better. <laughs>